Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what is going on in your connection with this other person. How do you feel about each other and what are their next actions or intentions towards you? As always, this is meant to be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates and applies to your situation and leave the rest. So let's see, messages for Virgo spirit. For Virgo spirit what's coming Virgo's way in love okay so let's see what we get for you recent past we have the five of wands reverse your energy four of swords and seven of wands what's going on right now our present energy seven of swords four of Pentacles their energies the magician and the temperance card, wow, okay. And then near future energies, we have the eight of swords reverse. Um, I feel like there's a lot of uh, resistance or, or like a um, very guarded energy here. Um, I have four of swords, seven of wands. I feel like you're not taking action. You're kind of just in a defensive stance or just unbothered. Um, whatever challenges you're facing, you know in this connection or outside of this connection um i feel like you don't want to be bothered right now you don't want to be inconvenienced <laughs> i feel like recently there has been a, either a reconciliation or a fight or conflict that has ended in some way and now it's like you're resting or recuperating from that whatever happened with the five of wands reverse like you don't want to deal with it right now I feel like there's a lot of opposition here, a lot of challenges that it's like you, you ended one fight just to start another one and you can kind of sense that it's coming and so it's like you're kind of stepping back. That's that's the energy I'm picking up currently or what's going on in the present. Now remember time is fluid, but for this reading, I have the seven of swords and the four of pentacles. So again, this, this energy of pulling back, holding back uh, in some way and it's because I don't know, something's off here with the Seven of Swords. There's a, could be deception, someone being sneaky, uh, looking into things they shouldn't. Um, maybe someone's trying to take advantage of a situation and so you're like in protection mode again with the Four of Pentacles. Um, this could be somebody that's trying to be strategic about finances as well. We'll see when we clarify. Your person has the Magician and Temperance. So they're trying to manifest a rebalancing of some sort. Uh, Sagittarius energy with temperance card you know they're trying to have something work out here come together uh, and then the eight of swords reverse this is someone breaking free of fear of overthinking seeing a way out of their situation no longer feeling restricted so let's clarify these energies let me use this to let's get some more information actually let's get some more information about the connection first for Virgo, tell me more about this connection spirit. Tell me more about this connection for Virgo. Tell me more about this connection. Okay, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. What else? What else for Virgo? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Interesting. I feel like someone's attracted to something or someone, but finances or career are holding them back in some way. And with finances and career, I'm not picking up like serious, like I'm thinking more like stability. Like maybe someone is not at the same level of this attraction. I'm thinking of the nine of pentacles here, someone who is successful. Bottom of the deck, forgiving and learning. As you heal and release the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like, yes, this Four of Swords, I feel like maybe you are trying to release something um, because you're attracted to something else. Let's see, let's clarify. Now Virgo, I have you on this side, I have your person on this other side, but it can be flipped. Okay, so feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. All right, Spirit, let me clarify 
these energies for Virgo, please. Help me clarify these energies for Virgo. Let's start with the past, this recent past. Why is the Five of Wands reverse? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the Five of Wands. <laughs> Sorry, that makes me laugh because what this is telling me is the fight is not really over. <laughs> the fight is not really over. The challenge is the opposition that's not truly over. Maybe this is a truce right now, a brief respite, be you know, before it starts up again. Because that's the energy I was picking up. It's not. It's like there's still something else that's going to happen here. Tell me more about the Five of Wands reverse. I'm also picking up, it's like, you don't want to fight anymore. Like, this person might want to fight, but you don't. Whoever this is. Tell me more about the Five of Wands reverse. Hermit reverse. There you are, Virgo. Yeah, it's like you're running away from this, from the fighting, the conflict. Like, you don't want anything to do with it. I feel like you've, like, tuned out. Tell me more about the Five of Wands reverse. Oops. Tell me more about the Five of Wands reverse, please. Two of Wands reverse. And then the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you have made uh, a decision here. Because of all of the drama and the conflict and the opposition, the too many people involved, all of this, I feel like you've decided, you've made some sort of decision. Okay, so this could also be your person, by the way, that has been dealing with a lot of drama and fighting. Okay, so let's look at the present. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's the Seven of Swords about? This one. Three of Wands. Waiting with expectation. It's like someone's waiting, I don't know, like a midnight rendezvous or someone's waiting to sneak away waiting for the right time to sneak away here <clears throat> or waiting for someone else to sneak away to meet them why is the seven of swords here this could be somebody planning their escape too nine of cups reverse <clears throat> can you get one more for the seven of swords the sun wow and then I have the seven of swords reverse <laughs> so whatever's happening here where someone was trying to be sneaky it's going to be seen very clearly whatever was being done at night or hidden it's going to be like super bright and someone's going to find out basically someone's going to get caught I don't know who this is, but they're going to get caught. I'm also picking up, it's like, whoever gets caught, let's say, you, let's say you're the one that catches someone in the act doing something they shouldn't be doing. Maybe this is someone that was taking advantage of you in some way, Virgo. You're going to start, you, you see them completely differently. It's like the mask has been taken off. And the Nine of Cups reverse, this could be that someone you thought was a wish fulfilled or someone you thought was bringing you emotional fulfillment. Um, I feel like that was a lie or you realize that that was not the case. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands. Baggage, obligations, feeling weighed down, heaviness, a burden. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords reverse. I feel like the deception is going to be a, ba a burden on this connection. Whatever happens here, there is a burden now because of it. Um... I'm also getting that some of you, a small number of you, you were just waiting to catch this person in the act. It's like you already knew it was taking place. 
Um, it's like there was probably trust issues or something here. Um, with the Page of Swords reverse, this is someone that is not on your side or does not tell you the full truth. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Cups reverse. So this could have been very disappointing, heartbreaking for some of you. Or maybe there's no love here. I don't know if this is your connection or an ex connection or your partner or the person that you're interested in their connection. Take it as it resonates. Can I get one more for this Four of Pentacles? Get one more, please, for this Four of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. So movement, communication. This could also be a, um, something that happens online, like online uh, looking for, for something online or, or communication going back and forth very quickly. This is also a symbol of good news. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Pentacles reversed with the, the Fool reversed. So I feel like someone's trying to make a move here, but can't. They can't even get started or making a move is very risky. And that's probably why finances are, are a factor here because someone probably doesn't have the finances or the stability to just leave, to just move. All right, so let's look at both of your energies. How do you feel about each other? What energies are you bringing to this connection? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. You can get to this through my website or it's linked down below. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Virgo and this person. Can you tell, can you tell me about the energies between Virgo and this person. I feel like this person is trying to do a lot of work here or they're taking some sort of effort here. But you're in the other, you're not. So that's, I don't know why, why that is, but that's like, that's what I'm seeing. Tell me more about Virgo's energies. Tell me about Virgo's energies, please, Spirit. Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. So you're the one that's probably thinking and planning your next steps here to move forward. And then I have unhealthy attachment at the bottom of the deck. So you're probably leaving something, a codependent relationship, a toxic relationship, or a situation where you feel bound or restricted in some way. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies in this connection? Okay, I have difficult decision, options, choice, and decision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. I'm gonna get another one. Can I get another one for Virgo's person? Can you tell me what this decision is regarding to, for Virgo's person spirit? What's this about? Wedding bells, marriage commitment union. Wedding bells are ringing. So this person is thinking of a difficult decision regarding a commitment, a union, choosing a path here that will affect a commitment or a union. Now, I don't know if this is someone that you are with right now or someone that is coming your way or someone that you're interested in, Virgo, but I feel like the decision is regarding a marriage or a commitment of some sort. They're manifesting. They're trying to bring something together here. Hmm. So let's get some more clarity on your energies here. Tell me more, Spirit. For Virgo. Tell me more. For Virgo. Why is the Four of Swords here? Now, keep in mind this will not resonate with every single person. Do not try to make this fit if it's not your reading, okay? We have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Interesting, you both have temperance. Why is the Four of Swords here? Two of Cups reverse. So this is about um, either a breakup or a disconnect. Yeah, and I have the Six of Cups. So uh, this could have been a breakup in the past or this could be a soulmate that you are not with or not I feel like you're thinking about this though. 
maybe having dreams or just really thinking about coming together with someone from the past possibly that you broke up with death card scorpio energy yeah i feel like this was an ending in the past maybe you're considering coming back together with someone i don't know if it's the same person or someone else i feel like it didn't work out um here why is the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here tell me more spirit about this seven of wands the moon pisces energy something unknown something hidden tell me more about the seven of wands seven of swords my goodness seven of swords came out again upright this time bottom of the deck the three of cups oh my god so there could be a third person involved here or this is someone that maybe was sneaking off literally in the dead of night remember when i was saying that <laughs> someone was probably sneaking off in the dead of night or trying to hide something i don't know if this is you virgo or someone you're dealing with but i feel like there's secrets here secrets abound okay this is like secret secrets right here someone do, doing something they shouldn't be doing um you could be dealing with a pisces or you know take it as a resonance but i feel like there's something here that was done that shouldn't have been done and it's like relating to another person but see this energy that i'm picking up with this card now normally the seven of wands doesn't have this type of energy where someone's kind of just calmly unbothered by all of the oppositions all of these other people that are ready to fight and this person is just like nah i'm good i'm not bothered by it right that, that's not typically the seven of wands energy but that's this card so i can't just let go of that idea that you are just not dealing with this or it's almost like you expected it and now that it's here it's like well i knew it <laughs> you know I'm not sure what this is about tell me more about the moon and the seven of swords why is the moon with the seven of swords here please four of swords again again this is something that's not communicated. Okay, hold on. I need one more. Can I get one more? Tell me more about the moon and the seven of swords. <clears throat> Ace of cups. What in the queen of wands reverse, king of cups, the hangman, seven of cups? What the hell? Okay, Virgo, I'm getting a weird message. Tell me, okay. <laughs> Tell me if this resonates. I'm getting two very distinct messages. Number one, I feel like you are in a commitment that where you're not in love with the person you're with. You're in love with someone else. You're thinking about someone else or your partner. You caught them with someone else or wanting to be with someone else. Something like that. I feel like someone has been dreaming, fantasizing. Um, yeah, the seven of cups and the seven and the hangman not doing anything about it. But there's love here with the king of cups. And then there's this Queen of Wands reverse that's just very upset or, you know, it's like, it's, it's like someone here is just not taking action. What are we, that, we just took a 180 here. Tell me if this is resonating for you down in the comments, but I feel like this is someone that now it makes sense why they're not unbothered because they truly don't love the person that's doing this to them. Some, it's like that kind of energy. Okay, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Okay, Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the magician here? Six of Pentacles reverse. Oh my God, okay. Okay, Five of Cups reverse. So this is someone that's trying to fix a boo-boo. They, they messed up, this person. They could have deceived you um, and they're trying to manifest a kind of like a, a rebalancing here. Tell me more about the magician. This could have been someone also that was manipulative just because I have the Ace of Swords reversed. This could have been somebody also that kept something hidden, you know, specifically trying to keep something from you. King of Pentacles reverse. Yikes. 
Yeah, I feel like this person's wanting to apologize. This person's wanting to apologize. Why is the temperance card here? I almost dropped that. Three of Pentacles reverse and the Nine of Swords reverse. Yes, I feel like somebody here, there's a third party interference in some way. Something wasn't working or isn't working. Um, this person's thinking about healing. Yeah, the star, Aquarius energy. This person wants to heal what happened. I feel like this person's not doing well with the Nine of Swords reverse. Tell me more about temperance. Yeah, start again. So that's the message. This person wants to heal whatever happened. They're probably the ones that deceived you. What are they truly thinking or feeling about you? There you go. Using my secret moon oracle deck here. What are they seriously thinking <clears throat> or secretly thinking? <laughs> about Virgo what are they secretly thinking or feeling about Virgo please I want to see you so you're not seeing them okay I my heart belongs to you tell me more about this person I wasn't honest with you exactly I know that and I feel guilty at the bottom of the deck Okay, so this is the person that screwed up, essentially. Okay, we're going to look at them more in the extended. But first, I'm going to look at this potential outcome over here. This Eight of Swords reverse. Actually, I don't want to use this deck. I'm going to use this deck. I don't know why, but I want to. So let's clarify the near future. So this is what's going to take place in the near future here. This Eight of Swords reverse. Someone literally breaking free or seeing a way out of a difficult situation. And look what I have here. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Definitely a difficult situation. Spirit, help me clarify. For Virgo. What's going on here for Virgo? Tell me about this Eight of Swords reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords reverse here? Three of Swords. Wow, okay. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords reverse. The Sun. Wow. Can I get one more for this Eight of Swords reverse? You know, I'm getting such a specific message. Three of Pentacles reverse. Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy. So the message that I got was, it's almost like someone was just waiting for clarity for the sun to break free. Because I feel like up till then, they were controlled by their fear, by the fear of hurting someone else, by the fear of what would happen, the pain they would cause if they were to break free. And I feel like they no longer fear that situ that outcome or that, those consequences. The fear is no longer there because now the situation has changed. Take it as it resonates it's for your person or for you. The Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there's something here possibly a commitment that has been in the way of someone's freedom is what I'm picking up here. This could be also that someone with the higher font reverse, they've been held back by trying to do the right thing by what society expects of them. And so they're rebelling against what as it has been expected of them. I have the page of pentacles reverse right behind that and the ace of wands, beautiful. So what I'm getting here is like once someone's free of a situation or breaks a commitment, um, or this interference is no longer an issue.